Good morning, good morning. How's everyone out there? Welcome. Greetings, greetings. Thank you for uh, pushing the H2H DI button. Thank you, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Isha. This program is Let Isha Speak. Got a lot of encouraging words for you, a lot of encouraging scriptures from Yahuwah unto you all over the world. Okay? Just want to uh, get together with you, excited, because uh, there's some things that right now, uh, you know, in our life, they change. They're changing every minute, all the time, uh, depending, like I say, every time when we're leaving, we're going to work, we're getting ready for the day. If it's not the morning that you tune in, maybe it's noon, maybe it's the evening. But anyway, thank you so much. And I want to thank all you new subscribers, all you that tune in. Thank you so much. Okay? I want to thank you. And I just want to explain to you also that um, as we go through this right now, uh, because of my condition right now, like I mentioned before, I have Elder Josh. He reads for me. And it's important for you to hear the word. So you won't say, well, she just... just open a book. No, 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 no. You should, you have a Bible. Follow me. Follow me with the Bible. Write notes if you want. Write it down. Pass it down. Give it to someone else. They're encouraging words. They're a help to us. They're encouraging for you and for me. They encourage me every minute of the day. Okay, so let's get started. Anyway, get your pencil, paper, Everybody get ready. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start in uh, Psalms. And uh, first of all, first we're going to start this morning, we're going to start in uh, Proverbs. Okay, a lot of wisdom, a lot, a lot there. And then we're going to go to Psalms, okay? We're going to give some encouraging words for you and for me also to receive, okay? So, we're going to start this morning in, uh, with uh, Proverbs uh, 17, and it's going to be verse 22 and 23. Got that? All right. Just one more time, I want to say hi to everyone. Everyone, thank you so much. All over the world, every state, wherever you are, and someplace else around the world, far away or nearby, around the corner, I want to say hi. Thank you for tuning in, okay? So, I'm going to have Elder, and he's going to read for us Proverbs 17, 22, okay? All right. So, as he gets ready to read this to us, I just want to tell you uh, the reason why I, uh, you know, I was going through the, the word here in my iPod, and I got the, the, the scripture uh in 22, verse 22 of chapter 17, is because I, w I was thinking, you know, a lot of times we go through the day and we're, um, we're, we're happy. Sometimes we're overly happy. We're joyful. We're full of joy. We're full of song. And then sometimes we get to that place where uh, our heart is merry, but then all of a sudden, you know, it doesn't feel too good. And we keep on going, and we say, why, why am I like this? Why am I going through things in my life that, you know, my heart could be merry, and then all of a sudden I feel so bad. I feel so sad. I feel like somebody came and kicked me. I feel sick. My whole body gets hurt. I make myself get sick and hurt. But let's have Alfred read that, and then we'll expound on it more, Okay. Go ahead, I'll read it for us. It says in verse 22 of chapter 17 of Proverbs, A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit <coughs> dries the bones. Verse 23, A wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. Ah, uh, come on. <clears throat> See, 23 says, Except he gets in the back because, my goodness. You know, we want it, sometimes we, want, we stick our nose in places we shouldn't be at. And we start talking about what's going on, and uh, we keep talking about that, and I say, I know this, you know that, and then all of a sudden, when you talk a lot like that, it becomes gossip. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's better just to be quiet and know that he is young. He is taking care of everything of what's going on in the world. 
He knows our ins and outs. He knows everything about it. He created the earth, heaven and earth. So you think he doesn't know it? You know, sometimes we've got to be wise and just keep our mouth quiet and give a smile. But, you know, the way the verse starts in Proverbs, it says that a merry heart is what? It's, it's like medicine. Like, let's say you have something and, you, you know, you're taking your meds or something to help you, sustain you. And so it's like we're happy for, for a season. We're happy for a little time, you know. But it says that if we don't get in that place, stay merry, and the only place you can, and this isn't merry to marry someone or my name is Mary. No, it's merry, being happy, being joyful, being, you know, just energetic, right? right. So, you know, sometimes we, uh, we want to stay in that place. We don't want to get to a place where we take too much upon us too much in us because it, they don't, it, it speaks about, about what it says in the chapter about it, it's, it's a, it comes to a, a, broken, a broken spirit. Have you ever been in that place where you feel like you're totally defeated? That somebody put you down so bad or you heard things that were so bad that just makes you stoop, just knocks you down down. It feels like someone came and broke your bones. Like you feel terrible because you can't make it. Just one word. One word. One minute little word can do that to you and put us in that place of having a broken bones. A broken spirit. We don't want to get in that place. We serve a mighty Yah. We serve Him. And who is Him? His name is Yahuwah. He is our joy. He says, I made this day for you so that you may rejoice and be glad. Be glad that you are what? You are strengthened by him. We want to have what? A merry heart. Just like the scripture says. What does it say? Being, uh, don't let your heart be what? Troubled. Don't let it be troubled out there. If you're feeling any way like that today, you woke up this morning and just probably, probably in bed you said, eh, I don't want to wake up. I, don't, I mean, I don't want to get up. I, don't, I just want to stay here. I want to meditate on you. What's going on? You know, some, do you ever get in that place? Yeah. You know, you're either tired or your back hurts or your bones hurt or whatever, whatever it is, you know. We don't want to get into that place. We have to be joyful. And I know, we all know, we're all going through some pretty bad times right now. You know? But you yourself, all of us, all over the world, wherever you are, whatever city, country, wherever you are right now, let's be, let's be happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let not our spirit be broken. To have a broken spirit is no good. It will weaken you. It will keep you down. You've got to call on him. You've got to call on him to take you out of that place. He will not leave you distressed. He will not leave you in that place. He will not let the waters go over you. Or you fall in the pit and stay there. You can do it. He says that he hears your voice when you talk to him. We're going to ask, uh, <clears throat> can you read uh, the scripture that I have in, uh, what is it, in Psalms uh, 17? Or, or which one is it? Psalms 117. Yes. Okay. Sure. It's 117 for all you out there. So let's let's hear him and we'll. It says in Psalms 117, praise Yahuwah, all you Gentiles, loud him, all you people, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, Hallelujah. and the truth of <laughs> Yahuwah endures forever. Hallelujah. Praise Yahuwah. See, he'll take our burden. He can endure it. Oh, yeah, just give it to him. He'll take it. He is merciful, to merciful unto us. Amen? So, everyone, go to the next uh, scripture. What is it? Chapter, I believe it was. 122. 120. No, let's go to the other one before that one because that one has a, a scripture that I oh, want nice. to give everyone an encouraging word that after we've been through all this, he's going to. 
give us an encouraging word that will keep us going. Okay? So go ahead. It says in Psalms uh, chapter 19, oh. verse 8. Okay, come on. Psalms chapter 19, verse 8 says, The statues or uh, precepts of Yahuwah are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of Yahuwah is pure and enlightening the eyes. Come on. That was Psalms 19, verse 8. Got that? Everyone got that? Just write it down. Just remember, we stay in his statutes, his precepts, his law. We'll be happy. Remember, I think it was last week or the week before we spoke about what? Living and moving in him. Come on. And if we're going to be in that place, we're going to be happy. You don't want to be all sick and raunchy and whatever. I want to live. I want to live. Don't you? Come on. So we have to be in him and be strong and be healthy. Because too many things are happening now, I'm telling you. It gets crazy. It, gets, it can get really crazy. It'll knock us out. But we're not going to be that way because we all serve a mighty Yah. His name is Yahuwah. And we're going to praise him. And we're going to get happy, get up happy in the morning and have a new song in our heart. And sing it unto them. Sing it unto him because he is so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is so good. Amen. So, when we go to uh, Psalms, uh, I believe it's 122. Right. I want our elder to begin in the beginning, which is probably one, two, and three. And then we'll go to the main one. <laughs> All right. Because, right. I mean, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you yourself can do it too. Just, you know, you get your Bible and uh, you read the Psalms or you read the scriptures. It's going to edify you, comfort you. You know, his mercy upon you, all that, that you can share with someone else and you can uh, encourage someone else. But I give you just the, the, you know, the address where it's at in, where it's at in the Bible. So like that, uh, you can share it out, okay? You can read it. So, Elder, can you start right now? Sure. Psalms 122, verse 1. Okay. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of Yahuwah. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. <coughs> Jerusalem is built as a city is compact together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of Yahuwah, the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of Yahuwah. That's right. See, we go there. We, we can all join together. All, kind, all tribes can join together. We have to, right now at this time... Uh, be together with family or, or you know, friends. We're going to do uh, to each other the right way, treat each other the right way, where there won't be no, no gossip, no strife between anyone, and we keep on going. We don't want our spirits, like, uh, like Proverbs says, our spirit to be broken. We've got to be strong. We've got to be strong for the next person. For the next person, when we see that they're in need or, they, or, or they, we just want to help each other. You know, Psalms 133, I was thinking about it today, <clears throat> that uh, it says that uh, when brethren dwell together, where do you think they go? Where do you think they're at when they feel like that? When it says, uh, uh, find that for me and read that for me, uh, Josh. Uh, yeah. Psalms 23, when... Uh, Psalms 133. 133. I have it right here. Yeah, that is the way. Go ahead. I was reading that for them right now. Verse 1 says, Psalms 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Okay, see, there you go. That's the word also. Unity. What is unity? Look it up. I give you that word, unity. Look it up for yourself. And the next time... If you want to, give me a give me a call, give me a, a you know a comment and say, hey, you know this is where it's at. This is what it says. Tell me what you think about what the word unity means. You know, I just want to thank you for pushing the like share button. You know, you tuned in to let Isha speak, pass these words, these scriptures, these encouraging words to someone else. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I was also reading in. Um, Psalms, uh, I, I think it's 121 where it says, hey, where are you going to go in the day of trouble? How are you feeling today? 
go up to the hill from whence your health comes from. There, <laughs> we can meet there. Like yeah, Psalms, 120, <laughs> Psalms 123 says, yeah. how good and how pleasant it is. Yeah. How good and how pleasant it is for me to sit here and share these encouraging words with you. Because we can all agree together. And you can read it in your own for yourself. On your own for, you know, in your Bible. So, I wanted to leave you with an encouraging word, which is, I believe, in Psalms um, 122. After you read the whole chapter yourself, uh, the last uh, scriptures, because he's talking about peace. This day, this morning, this noontime, this evening, I give you the, the word peace, which is shalom to you. That you may start and continue your day with shalom in your heart, with shalom in your bones, shalom in everything you do. And then when people see you, I want to know more. Tell me more. I want to meet you because there's something about you. There's shalom within your walls. Shalom within your walls that when you walk, when you talk, when you see it, when you run, whatever you're going to do, there's something about you. Someone today is going to say, ah, there's something about you that I want to know. So I say to you this morning, shalom be within your walls. That you don't have to go taking, you know, have being married and all of a sudden you're, you're sad because your spirit is broken and, it's, and it's, it's just hanging there. No. Have shalom within you, within your walls, you know. So read that whole chapter, 122, and I know you'll fall in love with it. I know you'll like it. Pass it on. Give it to someone else. Remember, we're going to share, 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 wherever it goes. Anyway, I want you to keep those scriptures, read them, okay? And it's, it's so good. I like that verse, that chapter, 133, it says, oh, how good and how pleasant it is. For a brethren to dwell together. That's good, huh? Brothers and sisters. Ishas. Sons. Well, it's about that time, everybody. i got to get ready to go my way. Start my day with shalom in me within my walls. So I'll leave you now until we see each other again or, or you know, get together. I'm going to leave you and I'm going to say shalom one more time within your walls. Pass it on. Thank you so much for tuning in to House to House DI and for pushing the like share button. Okay? So if you like it, send me a comment. Alrighty? I'll be hearing from you. So I'm going to let you go now. Okay? Remember, Isha says, put a smile on your face. Gotcha. Okay. I'll see you soon. <laughs>